Okay, I just pulled the big flywheel off of the uh, shaft, and uh, this is the input shaft here into the uh, chunker Baylor gearbox. Um, so, I want you to watch the motion here as it twists, it pulls inward. Okay, so it's got about that much motion back and forth. In and out. It's got some side to side motion as well. And some up and down motion. So it's uh, definitely moves in all directions, but this was the main thing I noticed was when you turn it, it goes inward. And that's a pretty big amount of play there. So we'll see what we can do with it. If I can get it any better, then I will make a comparison video for myself. So I can see if uh, see if we got anything done. Alright, here is the shaft. Um, I've taken off the, uh, what, whatever you call it, the bearing cover. Um, so this is what we took off so far. Um, after... After the uh, flywheel came off, there were these three washers. They slid off of there. Um, after that, that cover came off, which I've got that set over there to drain. Um, after that, there was these on here. So this uh, one of these tabs was bent down, locking this in place. So I bent the tab up, unscrewed this. Well, both of these came off. Uh, next, we have the hard part, apparently, which is this guy here. This appears to be another uh, nut, which is holding the bearing in place. Um, I'll show you that in a second. But I can't get this to turn. Uh, I, I've, I've got it. Well, that's not true. I, I can get it to turn by hammering on it. Uh, pushing on these slots and that will turn it very very slowly and it seems to get to a point at which it just bottoms out on both tightening and loosening so I'm not sure about that may need to clean out these threads some more and try to get that loosened up I don't know uh, I don't want to hammer on this thing too hard obviously because I, I kind of need it to stay in one piece um, and uh, you can also see the bearing here Okay, so in the it, as you tighten it, it kind of screws itself inwards. Okay, now I've just forgotten which way it's supposed to turn. Okay, so when it turns like this, then that's trying to cut. Okay, and I think when it rebounds a little bit after cutting then you're seeing a little bit of this motion you're also while it's loose let me put this back on the tripod uh, while it's loose you have about that much motion but once you tighten it up there is no motion the same goes for up and down motion but once you tighten it there's no up and down, no side to side. So this is some sort of a tapered uh, bearing. Tapered roller bearing is what I'm guessing. Um, so if we can just tighten this down some more, that would be great. Like I said, I'm having trouble getting this guy to turn. So, interested in y'all's thoughts. And uh, this is where I'm at with it. Okay, I got the uh, tough nut off. Um... I had to do a little bit of research. Those are apparently called bearing lock nuts. Um, they make uh, sockets that fit over them. They also make spanners that fit over them. Uh, and so I saw a picture of what the spanner looked like and I thought, well, maybe I could just make one of these things. So a uh, little bit of work with an angle grinder and by golly, I had me a breaker bar of a spanner. So. With that, I got the nut off. Now, I'm not sure exactly what to do. Shaft still goes in and out the same as it did. 
Um, I did try, once I had that made, I did try tightening it, and I tightened it as far as it would go. I figured it must have bottomed out the threads or something, and it was still doing this exact same thing. So, that didn't really help. Uh, but, uh, I don't know why the first one was easy, the second one was hard. They're both exactly the same, as far as I can tell, but I will, of course, put them on in the correct order when it comes time. And, uh, so I guess this is where I stop for the night. So, uh, let me know what you think, guys. Um, and, uh, I will keep you updated as to the progress here. Thanks.